Today, we are going to tackle condensation. What do we mean by Condensation is a change in the state of water from a gas or vapor form into liquid form. It generally happens when vapor in warm air encounters a cool surface. So condensation is a change from gas into liquid form. It only takes place when warm air meets or encounters a cool surface. It is also noteworthy that condensation does not need a solid surface to take place as it can occur when a warm packet of water vapor encounters colder gases. Condensation is an everyday event. Some of the more common examples of condensations are morning dew. It takes place when moisture in the air condenses on the grasses cooled during the night. So morning dew is an example of condensation. Droplets on your can of soda. Do you know that the cold surface of the can causes moisture in the warm exterior air to condense on the outside of the can? So condensation takes place when you see droplets on your can of soda. Another example is a foggy windshield. The air in your car contains moisture and more is added from the breath and bodies of passenger. With enough moisture and a cool enough windshield, the moisture condenses as droplets that fog your window. So when you see fog in your window, it means that condensation takes place. Another example is a foggy mirror. The same thing happens in your bathroom when shower moisture condenses on a cold mirror. I'm sure you are all familiar with this, cloud formation. Clouds are a large-scale example of condensation and generally form when water vapor in warm air rises to meet cold air higher in the atmosphere. As the warm air cools and the molecules coalesce and stick together, drops of water or ice crystals form and surround dust particles in the air. Do you know that clouds are billions of these water-coated dust particles swirling together? So, what is 
the physics behind condensation. Like all matter, water consists of molecules. In a vapor form, the molecules are energetic, fast, moving, and far apart. As the vapor encounters cooler temperatures, the molecules become slower, less energetic, and closer together. When they reach a threshold energy level, the vapor then changes to liquid.